Hi guys, I'm Scott Harmer with Motorsportsland. Today we're going to take a look at the 2015 Raptor 332. Uh, we'll do a little walk, walk around and I'll kind of show you a little bit about it. Um, right away you'll notice the, the difference in the level of a trailer. You're going to have, you know, four steps going up into the entry, a nice big handle, gas ram on your door. Coming on the front, you've got an automatic awning, two awnings, both with a row of LED lights, LED you know, front porch lights. Your pass-through storage on a Raptor, it's got a drop frame construction, so it goes all the way down level. A lot of your components and stuff are back here, where if you ever need any maintenance done, you can do back there instead of having the mechanics come into the, the trailer to work on it. But again, nice, huge, big pass-through storage, all insulated, as well as one inch thick insulated door with slam latches. That's gonna be the quality that keeps going on for years. Um, your hydraulics, really easy access to everything. Coming around the front, you've got a fiberglass front cap. Um, the nice thing about these is it's a painted cap. The abuse of your trailer as you're driving through, the front cap is what really you know takes all the abuse. If you see something that's got seams and stuff like that here, but to roll your cap all the way in the front, have it be you know molded fiberglass and have it be painted. That's where you're going to get the longevity you know of, of it looking good as well. I love the blue LED eyebrow lights on it. Um, things like this, where you've got a mirror right here and you've got a light right here where it actually should be. I've seen a lot of trailers that have lights that you know face forward and kind of blind you while you're trying to hook up. It makes better sense to have a mirror down where you're looking at your kingpin and a light shining on it. That's just the best thing to do. Twin oversized propane bottles as well as the Onan 5500 generator. Docking lights here. Come around the side you've got your uh, batteries here. This is also equipped with the six point auto level system from LCI. It's a really nice system. It's a hydraulic system, so you can push one button and have the entire trailer level out. It also has memory, so it remembers right where the height was where it came off your truck and it'll go right back on. You can also put it in a manual setting and flip up one side or the other and actually change the tire if you ever run into a problem like that. You've got a convenient one-stop docking center here where you've got your hot cold shower, your freeze guard, your whole winterizing system here, down with a black tank flush on the bottom, battery disconnect, low water drains. It's nice to have everything in one you know, convenient area, which is also ducted into you know, the heating part of this so you're, you're year round, you can use it. Again, nice big slam latches. While we're out here, I want you to take a look at the enormous slide in here. This is part of Raptor's King Bed Suite. Not only do you have wardrobe, drawers, entertainment, this is an enormous slide. You'll see a lot more of that when we get inside of this. Um, you've got a 12 gallon hot water heater with a 16 recovery. You're basically using 28 gallons until you start to run out of hot water. That's nice for your oversized water tanks that these have. Nice big deep slide. You'll notice the frameless automotive windows on a Raptor. They open up and still give you really good, you know, cross ventilation, but there's no seams or seals on the outside to get corroded over the, over the time. Their suspension system goes into an equal flex suspension system. What it does, it's almost like rubber bushings. It takes about 80% of the vibration out of the coach while it's underway. It's better for your cabinets, it's better for your toys, it's better for everything in the trailer. You're using 7,000 pound axles with eight lugs, 16 inch tires. That's the biggest in the industry. Raptors are equipped with two fuel stations. You've got 130 gallons that's designated for your toys and 130 gallons is designated for your generator. The nice thing about that is a lot of people will be using race fuel so they can separate their gas. If not, you can just you know, go in from your regular into your, your uh, um, generator if you're running low on either way. Uh, fuel dispensing system, you can kick that on. It's got a gas gauge. It shows you exactly how much is in your toy tank. You've got a 50 amp service on here because you've got two air conditioners, both 15,000 BTU. I love having an onboard ladder. Um, it's more convenient because you've always got it with you. It keeps the, you know, the width of the trailer still the same 8.6 width, um, you know, coming in and out, you know, instead of it being in your garage when you need it the most or, you know, in the way it's actually hooked to you and can pop out. Um, this Raptor is equipped with the rear patio. You'll see a lot of things that are a Raptor exclusive. Um, this is one of my favorites. The Raptor rear patio actually has steps and a handrail going up into the back. Um, 
The nice thing about these, you know, they're, they're nice to be outside and you have sun, but a lot of them you can't enter through here. So you have to go all the way through the coach and back through to get to the patio. Love that part about it. Awning, elegant with the LED lights. You know, this is really nice if you're going to go to a place where sand dunes or something where you want to be outside, you still have coverage, but you don't necessarily want to be in the sand or if you have pets, they can come in and run around. This is a really nice addition to the trailer. Again, all of your Raptors have double front awnings, electric awnings. You've got a toy lock system in here that's chained to the chassis. You've got a 15 foot cable that'll lock up all your toys while they're out of the garage. And then you've still got the slam latch vent system to where it, it came from when you used to not have the, the toy tank. So you had five gallons of, of gas all the way through out you know, the back of the coach. Now we don't have to have those because you've got the, the toy tank, but this still opens up and lets your, your, your back garage breathe so you don't have any smells. Things like this that even on your garage door, you've got an actual window. Most don't have that. Nice safety tinted. And a real handle on the back as well. Um, inside, outside speakers. Let's take a look inside. Another thing that's really nice about the Raptor as far as their exclusive things that they do, I love the solid surface countertop. This one actually has the pieces that cover up the range. So A, it looks a lot nicer, but B, it gives you more countertop space, oversized microwave and oven. You've got the 12 cubic foot refrigerator, plenty of time, you know, space for your extended trips, nice deep freezer compartments. I love the island, the countertop extension, high rise faucet with a nice drain spout. Uh, you know, it really is a lot of residential features that you would see in a luxury home. Storage going past all the way through into the garage. The 332 is equipped with just an amazing amount of storage and cabinets throughout the trailer. The use of space is incredible. Um, another nice option is to have a loft. There's a secondary ladder that goes up to the loft. If you're not using it for kids or grandkids, you can always use it just for storage. Things that you need to have, but don't necessarily always need to get to it all the time. Your bulky stuff, your extra bedding and stuff, that really, really comes in handy. Coming around the front here, you've got a nice big size TV that pulls out and swings so you can watch it from the, the, the couch. Kind of your control center here, you've got a nice electric fireplace puts out a lot of nice really nice heat you know if you're at an area that has power you can use that instead of using the, the propane from your furnace samsung blu-ray players and stuff like that you're really at the next level you know with a raptor um, coming around the side again all of your hardwood cabinets real wood blinds instead of you know day night shades that always seem to be adjusting all the time Really nice residential furniture. Let's take a look at the garage. The Raptor 332 is the smallest of the line that has a, a bunch of different features that a lot of that really tend to, to be what people are looking for in a toy hauler. It's got a 12 foot garage. So with your side by sides nowadays getting longer, taller, bigger, you really 10 used to be the standard 12 really is kind of the new, the new norm of what you want. It's got a 12 foot garage, but it's also got two axles and three slides. So the combination of a 12 foot garage, double axle and three slides really hits a lot of people's points of what they're looking for. Also, they're made to either live in, to toy, you know, to toy around. You've got a hot, you know, hot and cold washer and dryer system in here. You're ducted in the garage just the same as you are throughout the trailer. It's heated, it's enclosed. So you've got air conditioning and heat in the garage as well. You've got a fantastic fan in the ceiling that's got a rain guard on it as, as well. So if it does detect any rain, it closes on its own. And then the twin queen size beds. There's a nice table that goes in between the, the benches back here. Um, also, a nice dovetail gets you in and out without scratching, especially on your Harleys or stuff like that. It also gives you a nice area for tools or storage, oils, just kind of out of the way. You've got your ladder, goes up into your top bunk. Also, your carpet that rolls out once your toys are out to make it look a little bit more like a trailer. Let's go on up into the King Suite.
I want you to take a look at this slide that we were looking at from the outside. So not only do you have great, amazing full length drawers everywhere, you've got your entertainment system as well as your hanging wardrobe. That's definitely a nice feature to be able to take it all with you. Um, you've got a really nice docking center up here that's got your USB charging, 12 volt station up here, charge your phones, your iPads, you know, nice stands on both sides, as well as opening up this for cross ventilation. It's a nice window. It's also your emergency exit. Uh, you'll notice the king size bed, it's a pillow top mattress. It's also got quite a bit of storage underneath it where you can store things like tables. Having to have none of the slide mechanisms in the bed, you know, having it in here allows you to have all that as storage. I love the fact that you can enter the bathroom either from the bedroom or the hallway. Now it gives you two access points. You know, other nice things like this, like a shower that you step down into. Um, you know, some of the showers that even I, I step into, it puts my head up in the ceiling and I'm not that tall of a guy, but having this be down floor level, that really gives you the corner space that's, that's nice to, to have that. Good medicine cabinet. Again, even with your solid surface countertops, even in the bathroom. Porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Porcelain's better in a toilet situation for many, many reasons. So as you're looking at through different toy haulers, there's a lot of them that kind of look the same. It's kind of a new trend. It's a new fad. Um, Raptor's been the number one in the nation for the last seven years in a row. They've really figured out how to do it right, how to do it different than everybody else. Uh, to see more, come down to Motorsports Land in Salt Lake City and see us. Let Motorsports Land guide you to the dreams of living.